Hello, hello. I know I've been MIA. I've been curled up in my sweatsuit as the weather descends into the abyss of crap. But I'm finally back with another outfit video. When the temperature dips below 10 degrees, I go into full-on panic mode and immediately reach for my thermal underwear. For this look, I've got on my trusty cashmere turtleneck dress paired with my beloved riding boots. I love how it's not only warm, but also super chic. Since I'm all toasty, I figure I can get away with wearing my wool blazer to squeeze the last bit of fall. And because I'm in the mood, I'm gonna rock my new favorite hairstyle too. Now, if you'll excuse me, I shall partake in my afternoon tea. How posh of me. When it comes to the colder season, I love wearing cashmere sweaters, though I'll admit they're not the easiest to clean. My trick is to always wear a top underneath, so I can cut down on washes. For this outfit, I'm rocking a full grey suit. In case you haven't noticed, suit dressing is back. It's perfect because it can double as a fashion statement and workwear. Since this isn't an office lookbook, I'm gonna spice things up by wearing my riding boots. Now, instead of the corporate grind, I'm just gonna bet on some horses in hope of making some extra cash. Just kidding, I don't actually gamble. I wasn't kidding when I said I'd always wear a top underneath my cashmere sweater. It's the perfect solution for a lazy person like myself who's also afraid of the cold. For this outfit, I'm wearing my good old wide leg pants, paired with some heeled ankle boots. Bonus points for the illusion of long legs. Now I'm throwing on one of my favorite fall staples, the leather biker jacket. Whenever I put it on, I just feel like a total badass. Well, forget horseback riding, I'm riding a motorcycle instead. A basic white top is incredibly versatile. You can use it as a base layer for added warmth and layer it up to create a more textured look, just like I did here with the V-neck cashmere cardigan. Now, for the bottom half, I'm just gonna slip into some skinny jeans and a pair of loafers for a more laid-back vibe. The trench coat is the quintessential fall staple, although I don't get to wear it enough because it gets really cold here real fast. There you go, the perfect outfit for the quintessential Canadian fall activity, admiring the maple leaves. As we plunge deeper into fall, my crippling fear of the harsh Canadian winter starts to creep in. Alas, shit's about to get real. If you can't fight it, you might as well dress for it. Better yet, dress like you're ready to kick winter's ass. This white cashmere wool coat is one of my most treasured pieces, and I better flaunt it while I still have the chance, before shit's about to go down. You know, the white shit in the air. Well, the snow, just in case you didn't get it. For this look, I'm keeping it as simple as it gets. You know, for the days when your brain cells have officially clocked out and the mere thought of putting together an outfit is an existential crisis. So I'm just gonna throw on something effortlessly chic like a black turtleneck sweater and a pair of grey pants. Since I'm already wearing grey, adding a grey coat on top is basically a no-brainer. This outfit works for everyone on any given day, whether your brain cells are on vacation or not. On the days when my brain cells decide to clock in, especially the artistic ones, I like to experiment with the art of layering. My first layer here is a black turtleneck top to keep warm, and the second layer is a white button-down shirt to add some artistic flair. A pair of relaxed pants also adds a touch of nonchalance. Now I'll throw on my good old long black coat. It's a classic piece and just so happens to be in vogue this season. And voila, 
I'm all set to go buy some art. I'm not joking. I actually went to an art fair like this, pretending to be interested in buying some $30,000 art. When I'm wearing lighter shades, I opt for a nude thermal top instead of a black one. Again, it keeps me well insulated while sparing me from laundry day. I think a striped sweater goes really well with a pair of blue jeans. It's pretty much my go-to combo. And hold the applause, my treasured white coat has graced us with its presence once more. This time, I'm adding a white wool beanie for extra warmth. And since red is all the rage this season, I'll throw in a red bag as well. Don't say I never wear colors. Yes, I'm circling back my black turtleneck sweater again. Honestly, when in doubt, just throw on a black turtleneck. It goes with everything. And for this outfit, I'm pairing it with my blue jeans, which, might I mention, also goes with everything. Steve Jobs had it all figured out. Now, I'll put on this black leather coat, which never fails to inspire me to break out of the matrix. And in order to break out of the matrix, you've got to think different. I am reading way too much into an outfit. Congratulations, you've made it to the last look. In this outfit, I'm wearing my cable knit sweater to add some texture, and I'll juxtapose it with a pair of crisp leather pants. Mixing and matching textures is the secret sauce to make a plain outfit pop. Speaking of that, the herringbone pattern in my gray wool coat is also another way to add depth to the outfit. I know I've been bullshitting a lot, but I actually put thought into my outfit, okay? And with that, I'm going to sign off and brace myself for the impending doom of winter.